Yo, what up, guys, and welcome to the Daily Dropout Podcast number six. Is it a very wow. exciting episode because it is not number one, two, three, four, five. Wow. But number six. Number six. What? That almost sounds like heaven. Six is for dicks. Whoa. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, my name is Stefan. I'm here with Lauren, Daniel, and Dalton, and it's about to hey, be hey. an expensive episode. And let yeah. me tell you why. Our sponsor. Our sponsor. <gasps> the sponsor of this video is dailydropout.com because we mm. are dropping mm. a brand new mother freaking line of merch. Yo, and we're all rocking it. Yeah. Danny, move your hair. There Sorry. you go. Move Look your hair, that. Danny. We got shirts. We got shirts. We got shirts. Check out this new hoodie. This is pretty sick. That's it's actually sick it's also another right sweatshirt. Here. We got it one there. We got one there. I'm also wearing the Daily Dropout hat. Woo. Guys, we support you and you support us. So thank you for buying the merchandise. That's right. And thank on top you. of that, we have a bunch of other things that are coming out yeah, too. Like so 10 different shirts, a couple different hoodies. It, it is, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. October 31st. Be ready. Be there. AKA Halloween. What are you guys doing for Halloween? I feel Spooky like we haven't season. talked about. I know we actually haven't talked about that yet. Yeah. Shall I go first? Should Should we? Sure. Talk about we potentially throwing Laura's. a party. Or? Yeah, try and guess what what I'm doing. <laughs> I already, I already um, could guess. I'm going to Texas with no. Johnny. No, I'm Johnny. going to be Johnny for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Yes. Laura's about to wear, wear Johnny's stage. stage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys should be each other. That'd We're be actually going to be um, the characters from The Fifth Element. What the hell is but, that? Yeah, what it's a like movie. <laughs> it's just I just wanted to dress really slutty, so I'll show you guys. You mean other than every day? Yes. So it's Shocker. actually. Wow. It's really cute, but it's like, you know. Yeah. She showed me yesterday, and I thought that, like, I just didn't. I was the only one that didn't know, but <laughs> but maybe that's, like, a normal thing that, to not know what that is. I feel like that's what you wear to work every day. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> but it's not what I'm wearing today, though. I like to dress like a boy, but that's what I'm going to be. Anyway, what are you doing, Danny? Um, I'm actually going to U of A to go see all my friends. Because it's like a reunion. You know, it's time. Yeah. What's open over you there? Know why? Danny, you've been out of college for like, um, <laughs> I, I haven't seen any of my friends have been out of college. She's for been like out of college for six years. Three months. She's like, yeah. reunion. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. I'm having Wait, withdrawals. what's even open in Tucson right now? Okay, Are you well, screaming? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what's even <laughs> open? <laughs> open. Okay. Was I really? Yeah. Okay, well, there actually are. There are bars open, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I've been seeing Snapchats of people there, and it seems fine. But the main reason why is originally we were going to have our homecoming, our our actual homecoming. Like, this, it was supposed to be the weekend of Halloween, and so it was supposed to be a homecoming game and all that, but now that everything's all screwed up with COVID, we're still uh, going to make it happen, even though there's no actual homecoming. You're going to make what happen? It. It. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not sounds, listen? Uh, sounds like fun. Yeah, it is really cool, and we're doing a bunch of it there. So, feel that. It, do you still have friends who live in Tucson, or because I wouldn't know, I wouldn't really understand why anybody would want to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that I would feel yeah. so bad for someone that chose that. Um, no, I have. I mean, I have a few friends that are still at U of A. They're they're just a year younger than me, and then a bunch of us are all just going back there for the weekend. Okay. Nice. So, so you're Ranger. saying if we had a party here, you would not attend. Well, I don't know. I mean, we haven't really talked about well, that. Well, what if we Maybe. just had the Talking reunion right here? I mean, come on, Danny. Oh, okay. So Danny just Let's invite all her friends here. I don't honestly. Well, it depends. For are the they sake hot? Of, they're all guys. Uh, no. are, they are they hot, hot? or not? <laughs> yeah. That's what we're asking. Yeah. It's actually co-ed. Laura, I don't know why you think they're all guys. Because yeah, she wants them um, to be all guys. No, yeah. I'm yeah. not even going to attend. Yeah, shocker. I'm not even going to attend. <laughs> no. What is up, guys? And welcome to the Daily Dropout Podcast. <laughs> I just constantly just get bullied. You do. We bullied. were watching yeah. one the other day. Like, yeah, it's so wrecked. true. The whole the whole episode is just like us making fun of Laura. <laughs> well, she does it to herself, you know? It's like, you, know, you no, do ask for no, it. No, you, I don't. Yes, you I do. I do not ask you for do. you to Laura, shit on what me. what was the conversation we had like five minutes ago? She's like, please shit on me. I'm like, what the? <laughs> I was like, okay, like, okay yeah. Odell. No, I just, yeah. I like, no I, when I said that, I wanted you to actually like take a shit on me, not shit on me. <laughs> like where? It's things like is this, Laura. Like the chest, my like chest. this. It's things like this. Well, and you pronounce you know? everything wrong too, so we have to correct you. We have. We're a, just trying to help you learn yeah. through yeah. bullying. Yeah, that's right. Have you not heard all the campaigns going on in lower school? Bully your friends, make them learn. <laughs> make them better. <laughs> it's constructive criticism. <laughs> Bully your friends, make them better. <laughs> that was like um, uh, Danny and I filmed a truth or dare video. Or, or sorry, it was a rock, paper, scissors shoot. But then if you lost, you had to do a dare, right? Yeah. And so. That was awful. 
Yeah, there was something, I don't remember how it happened, but I said to Danny, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go scissors on this. She's like, you are? I'm like, yeah. She's like, <laughs> <I fucking hate laughs> so you. we go rock, paper, scissors. I go rock. And she thought like in her mind that she was going to win it because <laughs> I told her she was going to. So it's all rock, paper, shoot. I go rock. She's like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it, he caught me like on the spot because we're filming and all of a sudden, I'm like expecting to just play it cool. I'm like, okay, like I know what to do. I know what to do. And then he made me lose. And then of course <laughs> the mayonnaise, I can't eat mayonnaise to this day. Uh, I literally cannot. Oh, I hate mayonnaise. That yeah. was one of our Spoonfuls like. Spoonfuls of it. Yeah. Speaking of mayonnaise, who wants to do Chipotle for lunch? That sounds fire. Yeah, I'm fire. actually really down. I. I but why mayonnaise? I'm one. confused. I don't know. You're just yeah. talking yeah. about food. I got hungry. Me too. Uh, the thought of mayonnaise. Mm, I so love hungry. mayonnaise. I really do. I Me have too. a question. Oh, no. Oh, God. That's never a good thing. What? You didn't Can we turn her mic off? I'm going to hold my thought on mayonnaise and let <laughs> I have <Laura>. a question. <laughs> <laughs> we just. I'm taking applications for new friends. Um. That's well, not my question. I'm just telling you guys that because that. typically I, you have to hang out with people for them to my, be friends. But. My friends are mean to me. <laughs> Who's well, your friends? Who's your friends? Not you guys. I, uh, they have an app for new friends. I invited Laura to my birthday. This we're, is we're, yeah. We're well, I think to we've Vegas. told this story. Oh, oh. no, this is, this I, is never mind. I got it confused with the housewarming. Part. Yeah, let, let me just say. Really <laughs> let me just zero say. response. Zero. Neither is she going. Okay, but Neither I'm moving. <laughs> <See, laughs> and you ask us why we make fun of you. Yeah. Neither is she going. Neither is what she is going. that mean? But she Neither. responded to tell me, hey, I'd love to be there, but I can't make yeah. it. And Laura just radio silence. Just like, um, yeah, what was it? Your housewarming party? Yep. Didn't. And I would make it if I wasn't moving. I don't know. That's I right. have been having a few benders every single weekend, so that would just be another I, sin. But. I can't drink anymore, personally. Right. Why? What, ha what happened uh, to your arm I fell off a boat. Damn. Not even in water on concrete. Not even. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't Drunk even, ass like, bitch. When you're on a boat, you're in water. But I didn't even. It was like when we were leaving and getting off the boat when it was like getting pulled back up and I was trying to get out of it and I just completely missed the step. And you fell. couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. Dude, that's I just, so smart. <laughs> I that's always so smart. wanted to say that to somebody and, and it actually was true. So now it works. Yeah. I know. But Dos I should stop drinking. Just. Right. Dawson and I, we were at Lake Powell, I think it is, or one of the lakes. You remember this? Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. So we were both pretty cool. fucking hammered, and we were on this pontoon boat. You remember under the boat? And then oh, they started yeah. To, now like, I drive remember. The boat. Now I yeah. remember. <laughs> so, they, they turned it on when we were underneath it. Yeah. And the current was, like, so crazy. We're, like, holding <laughs> to the top of the boat. We're just hanging on for dear life. I was like, Stephen, don't let go. <laughs> if you do, the motor will detach your legs from your body. <laughs> it was terrible. And we were like. And I'm there with my one crippled arm <laughs> trying to hang on for dear life. Yeah. Like, ah. Dude, that I think at one point terrible. I had my legs wrapped around you while I was holding to the top, too. I'm like, we're not going my out like this. My face is just in your crotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> How was LA, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was um, great. Yeah, it was actually um, really great because you guys weren't there. Yeah, I think that's what really made us. I bet you guys got hammered without us. Probably not. No, we, had, <laughs> we actually, it's called casual I'm drinking. I know you guys aren't so. used to that. We um, had like a glass or two of wine at, at dinner. dinner. Oh, sounds classy. Wow. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what that's drinking. like. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I thought it was really fun. And I actually bonded with everyone on Venice Beach. Like, I think Guys, every like crack okay. night, like we really, I'm not even kidding I'm you. I started to know everyone by the end. So, you know how <laughs> whenever we go to Venice, I mean, like there's still a good amount of like homeless people and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I guess because of COVID and everything, it just like went crazy up. Really? Mm. So it was just That's like, sad. Yeah, it is sad. I know it's so sad, but they were just like everywhere and like. Yeah, but I became friends with them, I swear. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say that. Because, you know, when we're pranking, we're just walking constantly back and forth the entire boardwalk. So it just kind of happened. Hey, like, you they don't were have like, to have a home to be my friend. Exactly. Right? <laughs> I had a... I am your home. In my video, I had a homeless guy, like, a crackhead fucking grab me. Like, really? Like, by my shoulder. Because he was asking for a lighter, and I was getting consent from this guy and I was ignoring him. I was getting, him. that sounds like you're about to have sexual no. intercourse. No, I was video. getting consent with this guy. <laughs> I was getting consent from the guys so he could say yes to be in the video or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And this guy was asking me for a lighter and I was ignoring him. And he like literally like grabbed my jacket like this. And I was like, no, I don't have a lighter. Like, and it's on film. Yeah, it's on film. Wow. Ooh. I was like, like, that's crazy. I know. I was like, please don't I mean, touch me. you know what the moral of the story is? Do drugs. Carry a lighter. Carry a lighter. Carry yeah. a lighter. Oh, right. Like, honestly. But you guys got some good videos? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. Really we good. did our first one together. I know. We what, what, what was that? What did you guys do? 
Uh, we can you handle the both of us? Yeah. Can you handle both of us? You literally wow. fuck it what, up what every kind time. Of re- <laughs> can you I'm handle even, the both of I'm us? Not even kidding. <laughs> we had to redo the intro like actually so it's many times. Because I kept saying the before, but it's so what kind of responses did you guys get? Every person was just like, yeah, yeah. And then, and then we could, I simple. could handle that. Sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. So one time we went on, this guy was like in a, a almost like a wheelchair, but like, oh. like a, like a rolly one. No, you it's know, not like a an wheelchair. electric one. It's no, it's like, like a the, cart, like a cart. The ones okay. that like handicap people would take to the grocery store or get on at the grocery store. It's like store. the cart where it's like just the older cruises. people. So they don't have to walk. But this guy was like, you know, I don't think he was actually handicapped. He was just like, no, he was just sitting. He probably rented it for fun. Yeah. And no, and so we asked him if that if he could handle us, and he was like, yeah. And we're like, okay, cool. Like we'll just jump on then, because like handle us on the like on, on the, the car. thing. So we both get on, and he starts driving, and it's in the video, and it's gonna be so funny. Like we were literally we just were did you guys break it, it or him. no? It and no. nothing actually like it went could in fast. fact handle you guys. Yeah. I might have broke wow. my neck though, because it was like this, like in the thing, it was really painful but sorry i'm still thinking about mayonnaise you know what's really good okay thanksgiving is coming up and i love thanksgiving and you know what my favorite part about thanksgiving is mashed potatoes outside of football getting hammered and eating a lot of food is the next day if you have some leftover like hawaiian rolls or hoagie rolls then you get some of the ham that's left over or the turkey and you put it in between throw throw a slice of cheese on there and then just coat it with mayonnaise Okay, that's okay, a stretch. No. Fucking no. delicious. Ew, no. Interesting. Yeah. No. Interesting. What's your favorite condiment? Well, obviously Tabasco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like one. love condiments. I could live on those. I could literally only Hot eat condiments and shit. I'd be fine. What's it, your favorite? So hard, but like if I would have to pick one, it'd have to be ranch. But Mine like, would be ranch too. But it's just I don't have ranch because I much. love soy sauce. Like I, like I could it. eat it plain. But I've you had, can't you can't put soy sauce on everything like you can with ranch. But I eat it plain. I couldn't eat ranch plain. I could eat ranch plain. I mean, you know, I, I heard if you oh. dip your testicles in soy sauce, soy you, sauce taste you taste it. Taste yeah, Laura it. said that I, to us. Yeah. And guess what? All of you guys dipped your balls in soy sauce. We didn't no, like no. pull our balls out and dip them. We, <laughs> okay. we, we got a little soy sauce on our finger, put it oh, in our pants, like and it's true. Cruisy. It's actually true. If you put soy sauce on your testicles, you can <laughs> taste it in your balls. mouth. Yeah. Try your it out. testicle Wait, buds. Wait, can girls do that? No. Testy we buds. don't have balls. We could put it, we could put it on a tampon. Oh Wait, my god! Imagine soaking it, <laughs> oh. dude. No, but I've heard that if you put this sounds so gross, but if you put um, alcohol like oh, in a tampon, you literally get so drunk. So try okay. it. We should try. And we don't have to deal That's with that's like, a video. A shot. <laughs> oh my god! You guys just sit in a drunk tank and we just film and just. I know wait. that would actually be. I heard it's like almost dangerous because you get so drunk. I but I don't not, believe that. That would throw off your pH balance so bad. Talk about a UTI. Woo! I know, right? Yeah. Let's so talk about it. What's your favorite condiment? Ketchup. I love What's your ketchup. guys' favorite Thanksgiving dish? Mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes. Really? Mashed potatoes. I, With gravy, know. hopefully? Yes, yeah. obviously. But what is it called? Um, why can't I think of the name? It's stuffing. I hate it. I don't know why. I, I, love, love, I love stuffing. Love stuffing. Love stuffing. Love I love anything yeah. that's a casserole. I don't know why. So, yeah. I've never been able... Like, I've, I can't even eat a bite. I'm like, why am I eating this? I don't know why. Well, we'll have to do Weird. like on Friends Monday or Tuesday. Uh, the I think we did it the last couple of years where we just yeah. order a bunch of uh, Thanksgiving stuff for lunch one day and have like a two-hour lunch. Yeah. Play some football. Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Get a keg. Thanksgiving. Damn, I can't that wait. That sounds yummy. I, yeah. mean, I love Thanksgiving food. My Thanksgiving um, was pretty awkward last year. I'm, I'm not going to go into it, but it was awkward. Just that's all you need to know. Got it. I know. Yeah. yeah, your story, Dawson, yeah. Dawson story. I don't even wait. Okay. Remember what I? <laughs> I feel a little left oh, out. I remember <laughs> what I did. If you uh, if you want to know what happens at my last Thanksgiving, head over to dailydrama.com. Yeah. Grab a piece or of an article. And, yeah, send me a DM that you bought it and I'll I'll write you yeah, everything oh, that happened. Oh, that's a good one. Wait, okay, yeah. yeah. Maybe I have to go do that now. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm going to like, go buy a piece go of Go to merch. the basement and buy some merch. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what? We got a little stand. <laughs> Daniel's just working. He's like, would you like merch? <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear the story? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what I love? And Boston Market actually has it oh. all year round and it's fucking amazing. Um, I also, um, uh, that's, it's like the sweet potatoes that has a, uh, marshmallows. marshmallows. On top. Oh, yeah. my mom makes that. My mom really? makes it too. So good. And she makes it with like, she also does like brown sugar and like all this. It's oh. so good. You know what we should do for our too. Thanksgiving here at the daily dropout? Have everybody make one piece and film it. Yeah. Oh, I was going to oh. say, we should all bring in our moms, like Holy fly them that's in. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And then they that all make a dish. would be great. <laughs> Nose goes my for mom the turkey. Uh-huh. in a second. Uh-huh. No, my mom makes mom. good turkey. I will literally oh. kill a turkey and bring it here. <laughs> okay, you. Oh. My you mom bet. would 
My mom likes ham over turkey. I do too, actually. <laughs> my mom, <laughs> you're all, my mom keeps making orange Dude. chicken for, <laughs> for Thanksgiving. I don't get it. Wow, Steven, you just had to go that far. Yeah, that's. What? You don't like orange chicken? <laughs> I love orange chicken. Okay. I know how much you love orange chicken. So why would mm, I, why would it I be don't weird? love it that much. Yeah. Damn. Mm, I don't love it that much. You just had to go there. It's like if I was like. Oh yeah, your mom's gonna make alligator. For Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's great. Oh yeah, that's great. Hell yeah, that'd oh, be yeah. amazing. Uh, I love that. Yeah, Florida man, what's wrong with yeah. you? Nothing. <laughs> N- ain't nothing wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with a little gator for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I love alligator. It's like it tastes like it's chicken. Deli- it's better than chicken. I've never yeah. had. I feel like I've never. Let's go to Bass Pro Shop this. for lunch. They have alligator you can eat there. Mm. You're lying. Shut up. That's right. lying. It's called Isla Morada Fish Company is the name of the restaurant. Isla Morada Fish Company. Wait, company. that's kind of gross. Though. <laughs> that's what, what I of, heard. What part of an alligator do you eat? The I alligator know. part. What? <laughs> the scales. <laughs> the no, they, I mean, same as everything. They got meat under the that rough skin. What does it taste like? Oh it's like chicken. really good chicken. Yeah. I love And if you got like a uh, chipotle aioli. A <laughs> 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 Yeah. Dipping um, sauce. Speaking of food, and, and let's get off the topic of food after this, but I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm so hungry. Yeah. Yeah. The um, bread. Have you guys been to Isla Morada Fish Company, the uh. Bass Pro Shop restaurant? You have, right? Yes. The bread. It's <laughs> sure. sugar bread. Like it's really fluffy bread and then they coat it with sugar like on top. Hawaiian, like Hawaiian bread It's incredible. Kind of vibe. Yeah, it's You're absolutely incredible. incredible. Ooh. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> <sighs> mm. I have no reason to go into Bass Pro Shop. Really? For all, I mean, you didn't you just go time. to Jackson's Hole? Uh, oh yeah. yeah, how was that? It was great. Was I it loved it. Nice there. and tight. Yeah, Jackson's Hole was tight and deep, a little chilly. Wow, <laughs> a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> what was, was your favorite great. part? Because that's an unlikely place for Lard to go. I'm guessing that I was know, Johnny's I idea. It. No, it was his friends who live in Colorado's idea, and they invited us, and we just decided to go. But it was like. We went horseback riding, which was really cool. Right. Was that my your horse, first time doing that? Technically, yes. Not my, riding, and they, but I got horses. I got <laughs> literally the broken horse out of every A broken horse. Like, it was The like horse was broken. broken. Was it you or the horse? It was broken. the horse. His name was Charlie. Oh. And he was a little special. And of he course, just, Laura gets the special yeah. horse. <laughs> he goes, you in the green. I'm not surprised green. at all. And I get on this horse, and like everybody's lined up perfectly. Horse. I was going to say the two. I was going to say something, and I was like, never oh. mind, never I was like, is mind. Mind. someone going to go in there? And <laughs> never mind. Come on, Laura. I want to hear the story. So I'm facing. <laughs> I can. De- I cannot even speak. <laughs> I can. De- I- <laughs> I don't even think I want to tell my story anymore. Yeah, you do. Come on. Come on. Let's okay. tell us about the horse. So everybody was lined up facing, like ready to go on the trail. And my horse was the only one facing everybody. And my horse is literally just going like this, his with his head up and down. <laughs> like nonstop. And everyone else's horse is just calm, like like staring, like standing. My horse is just going nuts. And then like when it's time to go, I'm like trying to like lead him and he just won't move. And then... They're like, kick him, like kick him really hard. It won't hurt him. And I'm like kicking him, but I don't know if it was like hard enough. And he just like wouldn't go. So they had to like push him to go. And then while we're like on the trail, my horse kept get going like off trail into like bushes and trees. And I was just getting cut up. Yeah. So I had a broken horse. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I loved him. He was cool. He was cool. Wow. Sounds like you, you came in there alone. You left with a friendship. And yeah. that's all you can ask for. Speaking of friendship, this morning, um, so I had my brother and my buddy from back home in town. Yeah, friends. I said buddy, not friends. So oh. it's there's a clear a differentiation. Very, yeah, very um, and they're staying at my house. This morning, my brother and I went to Starbucks, and we were picking up Starbucks for everybody. Mm-hmm. And not uh, me though, not you. <laughs> and so basically, we get to the drive-through, and so it's three drinks, right? So the guy goes, "Okay, we have the first black coffee." Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh. oh. Did it smell the coffee? It smelled. <laughs> And he's like, we got the first black coffee, so I take it. And he goes, and we got the second one. So I gave him back the first one and took the second. And he's like looking at it like, is, is there something wrong with it? <laughs> and so I put the one down in my cup. He goes, okay, and here you go. And here's the third. And then I handed him back the second. <laughs> and took the third. And the guy was like, what the fuck? We went back in a circle. I just kept handing him back things. And <laughs> he's like, is there something wrong with this? I'm like, no, not at all. And then he, just, he was just like. 
oh my God, what's going on? Anyway, that was my morning. That's I always funny. wonder why the Starbucks lines are so long, so now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Single oh, makes sense now. The only reason, yeah. I That's hate funny. Starbucks, to be honest. And another moment really? from our next sponsor. <laughs> Danny and Laura's Eyebrows. Wow, am I in the same ballpark as Laura now? Oh, man, the way Wait. you said that, too. <laughs> Danny and Laura's Wait, eyebrows. Wow. Guys, okay, speaking of eyebrows, just get your, ladies, get your brows laminated. Best thing you could ever I, do. Mine aren't, but. But she, don't. like, right. fluffed them up, and they look, you know, pretty laminated. I use a, so. a little brush at home. That's yeah. also fluff, an alternative. Fluff them, bad boys. Steven, we should just start doing that. We're going to do their makeup. Yeah, you guys think guys, we should do their if makeup. If you guys think we should do their makeup for a video, um, comment a. And then we'll see who looks hotter. Yeah. Comment a. That'd be hot as fuck. A Blue pumpkin. Hot. Oh. Oh. A okay. pumpkin yeah. below. You know what's really funny? Um, girls are just really funny. Like when you guys compliment each other, it almost sounds like you're dissing each other. Like yeah, Laura, it's like mean compliments. Right. Like Laura walks in and Danny's like, wow, okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. I'm like, wow, you look cute. And then yeah. I just be like, wow, your eyebrows look so good. Yeah. <laughs> that just like, sounds so sarcastic. Wow, like, <laughs> wow fuck you, bitch. I'm like, yeah. cute, I'm like cute new scrunchie. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was it. Because was I was it. with her when we got the scrunchie. So I like, you know. It sounds so sarcastic. It yeah. Does. Which and feel like a lot of the times it is. I feel like I it feel is. Like there just the way I speak and yeah, like same. my tone, anything I like when I'm actually complimenting someone, it just sounds so like sarcastic, which kind of sucks. Because I'm not going to be like, hey, girl, love that new shirt. Like, that's or so you, weird. You, you could just yeah. say nothing. You could just be like, hey, good to see you. You should be like, hey, dope scrunchy. All right. The bitch. It's like, <laughs> oh, that's a cool hoodie. Like, it still sounds like. Well, that's that's not that genuine. Yeah. 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 It it did. Did. yeah. Thank you, Laura. It sounded good. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Uh, yeah. uh, DailyDropout.com. <gasps> nice. Cool. Yo, I heard they have some sick new merch. They do. Wow. Yeah, love that. But yeah, everything you say sounds so sarcastic. You're like, um, wow. Yeah, okay. Well, Steven, you look really good today. Well, that sounded real because it yeah. was, but. Um, uh, who's older between the two of you, by the way? Me. Yeah. How old are Wait, you yeah. guys? I think 20. I'm feeling 22. Okay. And mm. Danny, how old are I'm you? I'm 22, but when's your birthday? You're the same You're age, in really. August, right? Yeah. No. Mine's in August. Isn't yours... Hold on, Laura. Let us do the math about your, yeah. your birthday. It's gonna take. We need a oh, calculator for you. I'm July. So oh, oh, she just realized. Month. She That's just realized for some reason when so she was born. Wait. She's like, <laughs> no. Oh, I was like, July. I was born in I July. I literally could not one remember month. for some reason. 46, if August. 71, 80, so 84, Laura's 80, only July. one month older than Danny. Yeah. And we didn't celebrate your birthday. What was up with that? I don't even know. I feel like it was like a. You weren't out here yet. Yeah, I wasn't out here, and I was. I actually like got banned from a bar in San Diego on my birthday. So what was it? Oh, uh, duck dive. We oh, were Mavericks, and it's like a really popular bar. My birthday and went on the fourth, and then I got COVID. And then you gave it to everyone oh, in the office. So nice. No, I did not. Laura's birthday gift. My birthday gift to you guys was mm. giving you guys. No, oh, nobody got totally. it. Yeah, I did. No, you came back and negative. Grayson did. It was a false negative. You I don't know, know that. Yeah, I do because my family was in town as well and they all tested positive. Maybe you got it from them. Right, wait, wait, right. so who's yeah. older of you? Your birthday soon. Steven no. is what? Turning... Nine months older than me? No, he's not. Ten months older? Almost no, he's a year. Not. No, uh, yeah. It's only a year? It's May to October, but I'm 92. He's 93. Not years old. Wait, you're Lara. Tw no. <laughs> so, so that means you're seven months older than me. You're Sounds about right. One, 27. 27. I thought you were 26. I was last year. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you really turned? I thought you turned 26 last yeah. year. Well, yeah, last year yeah, I did. Last this year. year I turned 27. That's no, how it works. Okay. Each no, year right. that goes on, you get yeah, one year yeah, older. Yeah. Did, does that yeah. actually happen? It does. And it, it's funny because everyone thinks that day. I'm like five years older than Steven. I know. I know. It's the beard Everybody maybe. is always like, how old is Dawson? And I'm like, he's oh, old as fuck. Like 25, I don't know. And they're like, he's that young? I'm like, just like, he has a kid I thought he was like 37. <laughs> 37? <laughs> Who was that? Somebody came in and said you were like. Oh, that was 30s. Sam. Ah. 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 <laughs> Well, Stephen looks big like he's like 28. a newborn baby, so. You're fucking old, man. Yeah, what? Know. 28. Damn, yeah, he's six years older than us. Yeah, but I'm living like a like a 19-year-old. But you look like you're like 19. You'll be 30 in two years, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You I only got two think... two years to make 30 I under 30. I, I, didn't even I think got you two and a half years yeah, to do I don't confused. think I have. Well, the funny thing, I've, um, I've been hooking up with this 20-year-old, right? 
And I think it's really funny because I'm like, damn, when I was 16 driving a car, you were eight. Are you being you just said this. Mm. Uh, that's how me and Johnny are. <laughs> yeah, for real. Johnny's like 56. 20. Wait, 20. No, he's not. Don't do that to Yeah, him. Johnny was like at a bar when you were born. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. Yeah. No, no. That's wild. Wow, 20. You really went low. Fuck it. Why not? I know. That's, yeah. You said fuck it. I mean, it's not even been, 21. I get it. It's legal. So. It is legal. Duh. What do you think Duh. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, seven. Eight. No. No, you can't even. Imagine. Nah, He's like, no, so I've been hooking up with a 17 year old. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> that yeah. would be creepy. Chill out. Chill out. You'd have to give do her a couple Do you ever feel years. weird? Like, um, I don't know. I feel like when you're 18, you know, an 18 year old feels like, you know, oh, we're so young, but. I feel We're like when I was so 18, old. I was also like very into older men I, still. I feel like 18 year olds get younger every year that you get older. Yeah. So it's like, it's just weird. What? Like I couldn't imagine, you know, being with anyone younger than like too much younger than myself. Two months? No, too much. Oh, too oh, much. Too yeah. Yeah. I heard too much. Even, even like a so 21 exact. year old would feel like weird. It'd feel like they're so young. It totally does. And but I mean she's very mature for her age. That's just I'm making it sound you, so you much can't worse. Go get like a drink with her. <laughs> no, I know she doesn't yeah. drink anyway. So oh, she's the one. No, uh, no, that's terrible. Anyways, yeah, that moving on in the vibe. podcast. <laughs> like, how do you, why would you not want a girl that doesn't? Well, you know the pros. <laughs> you know, because my, my wife is uh, you know two years older than me. She I is, in fact, I love a that. cougar. I like older women. You know? I love older men. So <laughs> I anyways. I older men. Um, older men. Hit me up. Just kidding. I, I went against <laughs> this advice that I was given. But, um, you know, if you marry a younger girl, like, you know, 10 years younger than you, when you're like 50 and old and saggy, she'll be like banging 40-year-old. So, right. you know, not a bad strategy. Yeah. Exactly. It's all, you know, it's, it's all a game. Life, yeah. life is all a game. It I is. just happen to be winning. I would never, world. ever, ever date a guy younger than me. Um, if my wife is listening, you're going to be a banging 50-year-old no matter what. So it doesn't even matter for me. She know? looks so young. Like yeah, she, she does, does look really young. young. She looks really good. She Thank looks you. Really she is good. beautiful. Mm -hmm. She is. She is. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Steven, <laughs> how's your mom doing? Yeah. She called into the show, so I just want to stay up to date with her in each episode. Um, Barb, <laughs> if you're listening, we love you. Love you, Mom. Love you, Mom. Just love sending you, out mom. love to Mama Shapiro. That's right. Yeah, she's a great lady. She was just out here for a little while, which was, you know, amazing to have her. She watched my dog in my house while we were in Miami. Yeah, we hung out a lot. My mom and yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh, At your I, house. I would love to see, I would love to film just a, an afternoon with Barb and Laura. That's it. Just like <laughs> oh have you guys God, hang that out. That would be comedy. Or that, me and your dad. <laughs> that, would be, that would be even better. I, so I, I, Steven's dad and Laura go on a date. That <laughs> would honestly be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. That would be amazing. <laughs> Laura would hit her little puff bar and my dad would be like, why are you smacking that shit? Guys, like, I also have a confession to make. Um, I haven't hit a puff bar in like over a week. Is that what they're called? It's not now? a confession. <laughs> yeah, but that's like a confession. Oh, yeah, that's no, a it's good not thing. a Okay, it's like a proud moment. I'm very proud of myself that's because actually, I've actually stopped. I witnessed take, her stopping. It I took me a very long time. She didn't hit a puff in the last week. She's only hit a jewel. And uh <laughs> and yeah. smoked a little bit of crack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so about these friends you made, <laughs> Danny. Um what? I'm sorry. All I can think about is Chipotle right now. And mayo. Still? What time is it? It's ten fifty. Oh, it's I'm, time for lunch. If we left lunch. now, we could make it there when it opens. Yeah, dude, I did that with In and Out the other day, like two days ago in the morning. Made it there at ten thirty on the dot. Wow, this sounds like a horrible way to start That's your day. Hot. I was really hungover. Okay, so I already woke up feeling horrible for the day. So Where I was knew I was In and Out. Yeah, I'm not gonna wake up sober and be like, let me just get In and Out. No, I was hungover, couldn't breathe. Like walk. Finally, whenever I'm hungover, I just need something greasy in me. Yeah, so I woke up and I was like, all right, it's going to be a good day if I get this. Because I woke up at 5 a.m. I know. I woke up Sunday super hungover and I was like, what disgusting fast food do I want right now? Look, I just want to apologize to everybody watching. There's there's really, I feel like this was a very aimless episode, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Like we've talked about mayo. We've talked about, you know, my mother, my father. Uh, I mean, you don't really need to know much more about us, but. Yeah, but let us know what you guys want to hear us talk about in the comment section. 
There you go. And you guys are filming a slumber party podcast today. Yes, we, we are. are. That'd be fun. That's going we'll have well. a lot of um, good answers for the questions okay. you guys ask. Also, questions. for everybody that's been requesting <laughs> for these episodes to be on Spotify, Apple Music, all of the sites. So we are working on that. And hopefully within a week, they will all be there. So uh, yes. by the time you hear this, I'm hoping that we will be on all platforms. But we will make an announcement and let you know when we are. Yes. Wow, Laura. Hey. Laura rocking fucking highlighters over here on her fingers. Highlighter claws. You guys want to see my new tattoo? Why are your hands so sweaty? They're not. I just put lotion on. Ew. I don't know why I did that. Gross. Um, <laughs> all right. Check it out. And then say what your <laughs> friend said about it. <laughs> Dude, when you pulled it up, right, the first thing I thought of was nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's still Laura healing. just got some balls on her arm. Okay, but... <laughs> My friends told me, and I <laughs> can't unsee it now, and I'm really pissed off about it, what? that it looks like I went to, like, Chuck E. Cheese or Peter Piper, and I got one of those, like, wet sticker things, and I just wanted <laughs> it all like that. That's so true. Oh, no, yeah. no, I like it, Laura. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. It Let's get a, a picture of that on the screen for everybody to see. So um, is there meaning behind that, or is that one that you just, like, saw, and you're like, oh, No, oh, I cute. just went to the tattoo shop, and I was like, what do I want? And I just... It's like cherries. I, I admire <laughs> that you have the balls to do that. I, I just really don't. I don't get it. Yeah. I'm slowly finishing up this arm. I'm going to add like maybe one here. And like I told her, I was like, do you here. think about any before you get them? She's like, no, like, I don't know. I just, I I'm just go in and do it. Like, I think she forgets that they're on her forever. forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely do. I definitely do. But it's okay because they're so small. If I wanted to get it removed, it'd be like easy. And they're all like um, single needle. And nowadays they have all that technology where you can just get I hear that doesn't work very well, and it's really? ex excruciating. I'm just going to chop my arm off when I don't want yeah, it anymore. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. And will. plus, it'll make me lose like 10 pounds. So. Well, look, there's something called ephemeral ink, which is, it's been in development for a while. Um, I think it's like researchers at NYU that are creating it. And it's a temporary tattoo that lasts for a few years. That's so sick. If you can that just actually, redo that shit. Yeah. If that happens, I'm just going to like, tat the fuck out of my body because i know it'll well that's be the gone. point yeah, yeah it'll and be gone it's that's like actually really but that also life. makes tattoos like less hard you know it's like yeah damn, he's yeah. not tatted up for life like i'm sure like that's a rental yeah it's like true, stunting right? in a rental yeah true but i would get like probably. crazy tattoos i would never have the balls to actually do yeah. knowing that i could like it'll go away like i would like probably tat my entire back or something i would get daily like, drop out on my neck yeah. Oh, that would be amazing! <laughs> oh my God, the yeah, got sick. Oh, just well, get the shield like, like right like, here. Oh God, that would but be so hard. Think about it this way: we have to be the ones to like test it. You know what I mean? It's right, so new right. that we have to be the ones to test it. I don't know if I want to be a tester with no something on my neck. No. You know. Maybe. But I don't know. Anyways, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up and go to Chipotle. But yeah. a lot of our videos have been getting demonetized. And also, we've been doing a lot of videos that we know are going to get demonetized, like Danny's dick prank and yeah. many, many others. But we want to create good content. So if you guys want to help support us, do so by copping some merch. we got a bunch coming out. And your friends will think you're cool. So... DailyDropout.com. Cool. Support it. We're actually, uh, anybody that posts a picture of themselves um, on Instagram wearing our merch, we will repost it. It'll also be on our website. Yeah, yeah. Steven, yeah. I think that we're all going to be calling people too that are buying the merch, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Hop on that Which would be sick. It's going to be fun. Ooh. Get you on the podcast. That's, that. uh, that's something yeah. we can do. We're going to oh, start calling fun. in. Ooh. Yeah. Dial we in we, on we the could podcast. even start live streaming when we're. Um, Doing the podcast, yeah. and then anyone that calls in, like buys that. some merch, we'll give them a call. Let them join the episode. Heck That'll yeah, mother sick. freak. That's fun. Anyway, guys, really thanks cool. so much for listening, tuning in, Spotify, yes. YouTube, wherever you're watching this. We really appreciate watching it. Make sure it, to you can't watch it on Spotify. Damn, she got you, wow, bitch. That was Yikes. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, Laura. Do me a favor. Pound yeah. by us. Do me a favor and Pound. take your horse somewhere else, okay? Thank you so much for listening, watching, whatever the frick you're doing, and we will see you in the next episode. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace.